everyone and welcome to the Simply Rahel channel. Um, I'm Rahel from the Cordell Shop and today we are going to be making, insert picture here, this skeleton um, from a few things from the Dollar Tree. So what you will need is the following. First you'll need three skulls. You'll also need a plunger. I know you're wondering, plunger, what, what does it have to do with Halloween? But yes, a plunger. Any decorations you want to use. I got this boa from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to use this. And then paint and a paintbrush. You can get whatever color. I prefer black because it's Halloween. You can do orange or whatever other color you want. And lastly, some LED lights. Um, you can get them from the Dollar Tree or Walmart. I got mine from Walmart and you will see them a little bit later. So the first thing we want to do is paint our skeleton. And felt like the black was a little too harsh for us by itself so I am going to mix it with a little bit of white paint so I can get a gray color. Once you have it to a color that you are happy with then you're just going to paint your skull. Okay so I forgot one crucial part which you're supposed to do first and well two. So first we want to paint our plunger. I did try to get the tag off. I couldn't get it all the way and rather than fooling with it, I decided I'll just paint over it. You're not going to see it anyway. So to cut this, you can use like a utility knife, um, but I'm going to actually just use my drill. So I want to take the sticker off as best you can. And then pick a spot. Um, for the first one, I'm probably just going to go there. And then the third skull, you only want to put a hole on the bottom. So now that we have our holes in our skulls, then we can go back to painting. Um, so I already painted the top of this one. I just went ahead and put the hole on the bottom of that one. Okay, so apparently my camera wasn't recording and I do apologize. So now we're going to assemble now that our skulls are dry and we have our holes in them. Um, so first I did cut a piece of the boa and kind of wrapped it around the base um, just to cover up the plunger part because no one wants to see that. Um, next you just pick whichever skull that has two holes that you want to put on first. So I just put that one on. Um, I like to do one kind of at an angle but again there's no right over way to do this. So there's that one. And remember the final one does not have a hole on the top. And you just kind of put them on there however way you want. 
Um, and then you can be done. It's perfectly fine. You can leave it just like this. Um, and it still looks good. But because I like to be extra, um, I am going to put a couple of pieces in between um, just to make it pretty. So once you put your feathers on there, again, you could be done. But because again, I like to be extra, I did get some lights from Walmart. Um, you can kind of see them glowing there. So they do sell these at the Dollar Tree. Um, so I know I want my base under, so I just put this up and put you know, all of this under. And then from there, you just kind of wrap it however you want. And there is no right or wrong way to do this. You just put the lights on however your heart desires. So I hope you enjoyed making this with me today. Um, please be sure to like the video as well as subscribe. I know that we have been on a year hiatus. However, um, when I started the channel last year, I thought I was going to be able to commit to it like I wanted to. But my dad was terminally ill. Um, and so that was just, I needed that time to kind of agree to, well... I needed the time to spend with my father and then he did pass away in January of this year 2019 and so I needed time to grieve and kind of put myself back together and even though I'm not completely there yet I wanted to get back into making videos so I do have a few coming um, so please subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified. Be sure to check us out on Instagram at the Cordell Shop. Um, and then I have my own page, Simply Where Hell. You're free to follow that one as well. And please check the links below for how you can support this channel. Thank you.